Hi, I'm Judy Swigert, the Superintendent of Schools here at Greater Latrobe School District. Um, first, I'd like to wish everybody happy holidays. It is the end of November, uh, right after the Thanksgiving holiday, and we're looking forward uh, to December where we have lots of concerts and events in the school district that if you want to get into the holiday cheer, um, look on our website on any one of our buildings and you will see numerous concerts and events that really do um, make you realize uh, the importance of the holiday season. Um, secondly, I'd like to talk about um, the Athletic Wellness Complex, which the board approved contracts on November 19th. I had to think of the date. Um, basically, they awarded the six primes for the project, and um, we are moving forward with mobilization for those primes. Um, at the board meeting, it was discussed that the project, um, as we had hoped, has actually come in slightly under budget um, at about 9.5 three nine point four million dollars which I know is still a lot of money um, but when we look at the project and the interest rates that we were able to get on these bonds um, we're very pleased that the project came in under budget um, as you're well aware um, we had hoped that that would happen and based on the fact that um, a lot of public projects may not be being done <coughs> excuse me um, this is a really good sign and we're really looking forward to it uh, the beginning of the project. As far as the timeline of the project, um, as you well imagine, it is going to be December 1st in a few days, and uh, the weather is really going to be the key to um, the timing of the project. Um, as you can well imagine, and if you haven't been behind the junior senior high school, if you go back there, or if you were a student there, it looks the same as it has in the last 30, 40 years. Um, you'll know that there's a lot of dirt that needs to be moved and to move that kind of dirt and have the right kind of compaction to do fields, um, the weather is going to play a big part with that. Our hope is that we will have one of the fields for the fall season, um, but again, it's really going to be because uh, dependent on the weather. So um, the project will be beginning soon um, and we're looking forward to that. Um, the project is one piece of our campaign and, and at the last meeting uh, there wasn't too much discussion about the A-plus campaign, but I want to make clear that the athletic wellness piece is the athletic piece of the campaign. There are two others and they are the academic as well as the arts. Um, most of you are very, very familiar with the arts um, in the high school and the elementary schools, um, the art that is displayed on the walls. We are looking to add something similar to our junior high school, which if you have been in there recently, um, it is pretty devoid of art in the hallways. We do have some in the library um, that's student art, but they have recently started their own collection. And uh, the last piece is the academics, which if you've been in any of our elementary buildings recently, you know that this has been underway for the last two years, and that is to make every one of our classrooms, K-12, to a global classroom. And if you uh, go into an elementary classroom, you'll see an interactive whiteboard, you'll see student response systems, and there are many other things that we would like to add to that global classroom, but it's going to take time. Um, in addition to the a campaign, I'd just like to finish with um, the uh, district and the board uh, approved, even though they didn't have to, um, the creation of the Greater Latrobe Partners and Education Foundation. This is a critical piece of what we're doing in the district as far as um, hoping to raise funds uh, through alumni and other people um, for those things that we feel are important in the district. Um, we as uh, school district people are advisory uh, uh, on that board. Um, these are truly people that are dedicated to the district who have um, uh, dedicated their time. You will hear more about that as the campaign becomes public in the new year, um, but it's really an exciting time. Um, we recognize that funding for public school districts um, continues to be taxpayer-based, and we know that that will continue, at least for the foreseeable future, um, but we also believe that the foundation will be a critical piece to supporting those things um, as we move forward into the future. Um, and lastly, I'd like to talk about the last board meeting. Um, there were many people there, some who supported and some who did not support the decision of the board to move forward with the uh, athletic complex, athletic wellness complex, and we appreciate everybody's opinion and comments regarding the project, and well as, as well as other things that we do in the district. I would ask, however, that when you're speaking to the board or when you're sitting listening to other people's comments, 
um, that you tend, we hope to keep everyone's comments um, free from other people making comments to them. In other words, what I call adult bullying, and simply meaning when somebody else is speaking or when somebody else goes up to the podium to speak, that there's no comments made to that person about what they said, what they are going to say, or anything else. Um, that really is the key to having people feel um, comfortable um, speaking to the board or speaking at any public meeting. Um, we talk about bullying a lot in public schools today, and you know that. Um, we have programs, we deal with it all the time. But when comments are made to other people as they're approaching the podium or when they're sitting there, that really is bullying to um, a classic extent, and I think you'd probably know that. So if you were there and um, you saw someone else or something that uh, you didn't appreciate, you know, make sure that uh, you let that person know that when somebody's speaking, it's their turn and they should be able to speak. We appreciate people coming to the meeting, um, and we appreciate your comments. Um, so we hope that people continue, but just please remember that as we go through and move forward with our meetings through the spring. Um, thank you very much again. Happy holidays. Um, please make sure you come out to the school districts. You'll see lots of things this month that I think you'll enjoy. Thank you very much.